Waiting for you if you allow me Girl, you know I gotta keep you around me All this paper we counting Blazing these ounces Spending on your baby no matter what the amount is Now you wanna know what's got it, man Tell me what's changed I guess I had a hard time showing it at first, but baby. So today I'm gonna be filming this look, just like a soft everyday makeup tutorial. Um, using one of my favorite palettes, the Morphe 35O palette. And it's mostly drugstore stuff too, so yeah. I have been so MIA thanks to the holidays and traveling and New Year's, and now I am freaking sick. So this kind of sucks. But I still wanted to film this anyways because I also wanted to tie in um, color correcting because before you will see, before I look like this, my nose is ridiculous. It's red and nasty and I have bags under my eyes. I haven't been sleeping well. So I thought it would be the perfect time to demonstrate that for you guys. So yes, if you want to see this look and also how to color correct, then just keep watching. I hope you all had a very, very happy New Year and Christmas, and I hope Santa was good to all you guys, and I hope that you all have a phenomenal 2016. I'm super excited for what's in store, and yeah, let's get started. As you can hear and see, I'm so sick. <laughs> Um, I went a whole year, all of 2015, without getting sick, and then literally New Year's Day, I got a cold, and it sucks. So I already did my brows as usual, um, I'm going to start off, oh, I just look like shit, <laughs> god dang, and I'm also going to do like a talk through through all this too, so. My nose looks weird. Isn't it weird like when you get sick, doesn't your nose like look different? I feel like my nose looks like extra large right now. Oh, no thank you. But, whatever. For redness, I'm gonna be using this Maybelline color stick. It's this green. So the green helps cancel out any red. And I usually don't have a lot of redness, so I thought this would be good to do this one today, just cause obviously it is cold season. And maybe a lot of people are kind of like going through what I'm going through right now because like I haven't wanted to put makeup on in the last three days and but it's been a hot minute since I've done this so I thought it was what so I'm gonna be doing it all around my nose my chin I do have a couple blemishes too Master Glaze by Maybelline, and I'm going to be putting that under my eyes because these bags got to go. And I forgot to put primer on. Dang it! Oh well. It is what it is. I'm a little off. Um, I'm going to take... I'm just going to take a concealer brush and just smooth this out a little bit. If y'all watched my last video, and I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but we have the most annoying dog next door, and I put smooth jazz on in the background just so I don't have to hear him. <laughs> um, so now that that's like smoothed out a little bit, I'm going to take this e.l.f. mattifying powder. Right here, it came with a sponge, that's why that's empty. But I'm gonna take this mattifying powder and I'm gonna put it under my eyes just to help set the redness before I put my foundation on and concealer, just so it doesn't smear into the other creams. Using a mix of two different foundations, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, as well as a little bit of the L'Oreal and follow. I'm like almost out of this, but just a little bit. This helps like mattify it a little bit. I think this has a little bit better coverage. And since I'm a hot mess, I feel like it would be good to mix. So I always just put a little bit on the back of my hand. <clears throat> Excuse me. And mix them with. Like, 
and using my beauty blender I'm just gonna go and push it down I help I always feel like this just gives it such like a prettier finish than the brushes I feel like no matter what kind of brush I use as much as I love them and how soft they are they always um, they still leave those like bristles marks but I look like I used to do my makeup in like eighth grade like no color no dimension like it's so funny when you look back at old pictures next eyeshadow base it's just like a nude color. I am putting that. Wanna go through? You don't have to be afraid. I am with you. I am with you. In the moments you're so weak, you feel like stopping. So if you guys know, like I absolutely love their Morphe palettes. They are seriously some of my favorites. I have like three of them. And today I'm going to be using the Morphe 35O palette. Did one of them fall? I heard something slide. Oh no! Where is it at? Oh. Aww. I had to super glue this bitch back in. Probably from traveling. Okay guys. So I zoomed in a little closer so you can see my eyes a little bit better. Um, so using the 35O palette. I'm going to be starting off with this light color right here and working that into my crease. Using this little bit darker shade down here and just using it as like a transition color just to darken it up a little bit more really lightly over the same color we just did and more into the corner. And for the center of my lid, I'm just gonna be using this really, my color fell out. This super pretty iridescent pearl color right here, and I'm just going to be putting that And then taking the color right below it, it's a little more of a pinkish color, I'm going to be working that closer to the corners of my eyes, or edge of my eyes, out here. <laughs> just to help blend the two colors together. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes slightly. I used to have the most amazing eyelashes. I used to baby the crap out of them and they just don't look like they used to, unfortunately. Oh. And using my Maybelline Falsies Push Up Dramatic Drama Mascara. Put a light coat of that on. And I always do my lower lashes after I finish contouring and highlighting my face. So I'm going to do that after. Just quiet. Because I always tend to get concealer or powder or something in my bottom lower lash line or something. So I always feel like it always comes out better when I do it. And since this is like an everyday kind of look, um, I still wear falsies, but I'm going to be using some very like wispy, natural looking falsies. They are by Lash XO, and they're in the um, style Angel, <laughs> style Angel Amour, and they're very similar to Venus Vibe. If you've um, seen my previous posts or previous videos, Venus vibes look very similar to this. Angela Moore I think has just, they're like a little more, it has like brown and black in them. They're really pretty looking. And like seriously the most important thing when putting your, putting your lashes on, 
um, you want the glue to be really tacky. Like you don't want it to still look like you just put it on there. I would wait a good 30 to 45 seconds, maybe even close to a minute, um, blow on it and put a little bit more on the ends, like the very ends. So it helps it just stay on a little bit longer or better. Um, but yeah, you kind of going to be patient with it because if you try to put them on too soon, you'll be like pushing on them all day. You'll get glue everywhere. Just make sure that they're, almost, it's like a, you almost want it dry. Um, just cause then it'll go on a lot easier and stay. Oh my God. Excuse all my sniffling is so annoying. Being sick is so annoying. Why? It's not how I wanted to start 2015 guys. There's nothing worse than having to sneeze when you're doing mascara or putting on eyelashes. Seriously. Alright, so after that, my lashes completely dry, um, I'll go back and do another coat of mascara over them just to help blend them with my eyelashes a little bit better. Together. Ah! Putting on lashes is like one of those things you just gotta like pray that you do it right. Because it is hard sometimes. Now on to highlight and contour. I'm going to be using my Camouflage Palette by Coastal Scents. I use this always for like the darker colors when I do cream contour. Where's my thingy? And I'm going to be using this. Say sorry, cause I'm missing more than just your body. Oh, is it too late now to say sorry? Yeah, I know that I let you down. Is it too late? So, my camera overheated, so that's why it's like a jump in the filming. But you can see where I contoured, and then for the light colors I'm painting on right now, I used my Master Conceal by Maybelline in light medium. And for down the bridge of my nose, I'm using the e.l.f. Conceal and Highlight Stick. It's just easier to make a line. And then taking my Damn Beauty Blender, I'm also going to be, so I just recently got this Ofra Makeup Fixer Spray. I'm loving it. It's, first off, smells amazing. It's like a setting spray. It's really similar to the MAC. Fix Plus, um, except this thing is like, it's amazing. It's like this, it says it's a light mist that holds your eyeshadows, foundations, and concealers. So um, I'm gonna, even though this is already damp with water, I'm going to spray that on here a little bit, and then I'm gonna go and work in my cream concealers, and then go back with the brush and buff out the darker colors. So in all honesty, this is my least favorite part of getting ready just because I feel like it's so time consuming. You want to make sure that the lines are flawless and it just takes a lot of work. The Beauty Blender is amazing, but this whole process is kind of a pain in the ass. But obviously, in my opinion, it's worth the results. Now I'm just taking a flat angled stippling kabuki brush and I'm just blending out the darker colors as well. You're just like working back in circular motions. Sometimes it is easier to use your fingers on your nose, sometimes, like, helps smooth it out a little bit more evenly. Because it's such a small area. Oh, I gotta sneeze. What I've been doing is taking my NYX Studio FX and my, um, this is the finishing powder, like, translucent. My god, I cannot talk. NYX Studio FX translucent powder and my Graftobian Professional Makeup um, Powder and Banana Cream. And I've been mixing them two together in the next one. I was running 
through the six with my walk. You know how that shit go. You know how that shit go. You know how that shit go. Running through the six with my walls. You know how that shit go. You know how that shit go. You know how that shit go. And then while that's sitting, I go and take my elf bronzer blush duo and I use the bronzer in it. Then angled blush brush. Buffing it all out. So now that I'm done doing my like highlight and contour on my face, or concealer and contour on my face, I go back and I finish doing up my under my eyes. And I add a coat to the um my lashes just to blend the two lashes together and again with the Maybelline Falsies Push-Up Drama Mascara. I'm loving this stuff right now. That first color we used, I'm going to be placing that under my waterline. And doing mascara on the bottom. I can't do it. And I always like to mist my face first with this Ofra, well, currently Ofra, um, makeup fix before I put my highlighter on. I don't know, for some reason, I feel like it just goes on like more vibrant. I don't know. But I'll do it before and after just because it feels good too. Mm. I'm gonna fix my headband, what I need to do. <sighs> okay. And then for a highlighter, I'm gonna be using this new ColourPop in the color Lunch Money. It's really pretty, iridescent color. You can't really tell. But if you have any ColourPop cosmetics, eyeshadows, or highlighters, or anything, you realize that the consistency of their, um, Their products are very creamy, so they don't go on like a matte, like just simple powder. So I always feel like using your fingers with those is a lot better because I have a couple of their eyeshadows too, and they're gorgeous and like really pigmented, but they're they go on a lot better with your fingers. So you can see it's like a really pretty. Sorry to make like you laugh. Really pretty. Color. So obviously I just want to look extra glowy today. I just can't stop putting this shit on. And it's Sprite again. I don't know why I do that. I just do. You don't have to. Save your products. I don't know. Do whatever you want. Then for my lips, I'm going to be using my favorite liner ever. In the color Spice by MAC and as well as the NYX Liquid Suede in the color Sandstorm. You really can use any lip you want. You can put chapstick on, Vaseline on, clear lipstick. I feel like this look is so bright and glowy and soft that you can kind of do whatever you want. So this is a really soft color. I've like been looking at my Instagram and I've noticed like I've been wearing so many dark colors that I wanted to do something a little brighter. So yeah. That's what we're going to do. Hey, girl. So there you go, and that's pretty much my everyday soft, glowy makeup, favorite makeup, whatever. 
And though I'm sick and I want to go wash this off probably like 20 minutes. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways. Let's like zoom the fuck out a little bit. Okay. I had to zoom out a little bit on that. I was getting a little crazy. So anyways, so there you have it guys. Um that's my everyday easy, simple, like soft whatever makeup tutorial. <laughs> my mind's just like foggy. So I'll feel good. If anyone has any tips to like help a cold, you have no idea how many medicines I have sitting right here. It's ridiculous. I don't like it. I don't like being sick. I don't ever get sick. So if I have any tips, let me know. Because I have no idea. I don't ever have, it never happens to me. I am such a whiny bitch. Oh my god. Shut up, Kaylee. Okay. Anyways. So thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's seriously one of my favorites. If you don't own the Morphe 35O palette, you must go get it. It is seriously... It's like $25 or something like that, and you can find coupon codes for like everybody, like if you follow anything makeup wise, you can find coupon codes for money off. Um, I need to blow my nose. I don't want to wipe out all this makeup though. And don't forget to subscribe and give my video a thumbs up if you like it, and please leave comments below. I would love to know, A, what can I do to get ready or what can I do to get better faster? <laughs> um, and then whatever looks you might want to see next or any ideas or just, just to say hey. I would love that too. So, yes. Thank you so much, guys.